So we're back for game five, and I'm going to tell you this now, my boys. If game four was any indication, we're going to have to play damn near a flawless game for four quarters in this one if we want to tr to come out of this with the dub. Like, if we want the gentleman sweep, every game is crucial. Because if we lose this one and it goes to 3-2, then all of a sudden, you've got a really, really awkward scenario where we're going back to Milwaukee where they have a chance to tie it up after being down 3-0. This is a big one, my boys. But first, we're going to take a look around the league and see how everybody else has done. As you guys can see right now, man, we've got some surprises here. And then some stuff that's also like the Denver-Dallas series, as expected, man. A close, close series. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll simulate the games that, uh, you know, are ahead of our game. And there we go. Let's take a look first at the Spurs, man. I cannot believe 24 points from Wemby. Sadiq Bay with 20. Vassell with 17. 28 for uh, Zion. 23 for Malik. Justin Edwards with 19 in this one. Crazy triple-double for Luka. 41, 14, and 15. Cam Thomas, Judah Mintz, man. That seems to be a big three right there. Dom Ellis in only 16 minutes with 10, 2, and 2. Hitting 2 of 3 from the three-point line. And then over on the Nuggets side, of course, Jokic, a near triple-double with 27, 10, and 8. Had two steals in this one. Jordan Poole and Michael Porter Jr., each with 18 apiece. Scotty Barnes, man, it seems like he's fell off in the playoffs for whatever reason. And then, of course, Oklahoma City has now won their series. Chet with the double-double, 23 and 12 in this one. DeBansa, Dillingham, SGA, man, all doing their thing. And they close them out by two. Two-point win to close out the series with the gentleman sweep. Cooper Flag, Markkinen, Keontae George, McLeod, all put up a uh, valiant effort. But, you know, of course... The Utah Jazz, they have a lot to look forward to, though, man. This young team, definitely a scrappy team, and I think that, uh, you know, this is not the last we're going to hear from them. Sacramento has tied up their series with the Rockets with a strong performance here in Game 4. De'Aaron Fox with 30. Risa Cher, Cheryl with 23 and 20, respectively. Then you got Jalen Green for the Rockets, who put up 30. Dylan Harper with a 15 and 10 double-double, but it wasn't enough, and the Kings tie that series up. As you can see here, man, the OT victory for the Cavaliers to tie there, even their series up. Tyrese Maxey put up 40, man. He's been a monster in the playoffs. 21-14-5 for Embiid, a nice double-double in almost 50 minutes on the floor. Donovan Mitchell put up a 40-piece of his own, man. 40 points, 5 boards, 8 assists. Mobley with 36 points, 22 boards is crazy. Darius Garland even had 21. Max Schroes had uh, 17 in 21 minutes. Great game for him, and they pull it out in a very, very close OT dub to even the series, man. That's been a roller coaster of a series. It's now tied up. The Detroit Pistons go down to the very talented Orlando Magic. This is a team that I don't think anybody wants to see, and they better not underestimate them. Van Caro, 32 and 10. Jacoby Walter still doing crazy things. Suggs, Duran. I mean, this team is is so talented, man. Top, and they're even they've even got depth. Cade Cunningham put up 26, 8, and 5 with two steals and a block in the closeout game, in the, you know, uh, elimination game. Brunson had 20, but again, wasn't enough. And then, of course, the gentleman's sweep uh, also for the uh, Boston Celtics, who are the team that is in our future if we win this series. Terrence Martin and Kaminga and quickly all putting up numbers for the Knicks, but it just obviously wasn't enough because over there in Boston, they've got a man by the name of Jason Tatum. 29, 6, and 7, two steals, two blocks. Porzingis, Jalen Brown, man, it's the same song and dance. We know what this team is all about, uh, you know, all too well, I should say. And, you know, like I said, my boys, this is a team that is in our future at this point if we end up winning this thing. And here we are, 3-1. We're up 3-1 on this team, my boys. And let me just say this right now. The, the expectation that we would go up 3-0 just didn't exist in my head when we came into this series. Like, that did not exist in my head. I just wanted the first two games at home to be at least close and maybe us take one of the two. But like I was saying earlier, here you can see these are the lineups and everybody with the exception of Collier is healthy, uh, you know, as far as on both sides is concerned. The Bucks have no injuries that I know of. Uh, and as you can see, Filipowski is now fully healthy, fully healed. But this is it, my boys. This, These are the lineups and this is what we got going on. It is time now to go back to Louisville, see if we can close this thing out. Let's get it.
So here we are back at the Yum Center. But before we get started here, I do want to do something real, real fast because a lot of you guys were asking about this, about my sliders. You guys are saying that the gameplay is always very smooth and all that, which is true. But I wanted to take a look and show you guys the sliders. They say custom, but at their core, they are the Hall of Fame sliders, as you'll see here. There's only a few differences, obviously. Uh, you know, all the stuff like inside shot success, three-point, mid-range, close, all that stuff is the same. I bumped up layup success, though, uh, by two because I seem to miss those a lot for no reason, even when they're wide open. Uh, and so I turned on the meter and bumped that up. Shot coverage impact, bumped that up from 50 to 58. And basically what that means is that if I'm contested, it's going to be real hard to make the shot. But I'll be rewarded a bit for shots where, where I'm wide open, where my green window, uh, you know, will be a little bit better for, for good shooters, obviously. It's not going to be there at all for anyone that's not a good shooter. Uh, but, you know, you got that. You got the shot coverage impact. Uh, and again, like I said, that's something that you can play around with if you're looking, you know, to mess with your own sliders. Uh, but this is just, you know, what I've noticed is a good uh, kind of happy medium. Uh, Alley-oop success, I've bumped up for both teams because uh, there's just a lot of alley-oops missing. So I, and I don't think that happens in real life that much. So I bumped that up to, from 50 to 58. Down here where you see defense, everything else from here on out is all going to be the Hall of Fame, Vanilla Hall of Fame, uh, you know, just regular sliders. Everything else here, 100% the same. Everything that you're going to see in this game, for that matter, like I said, is going to be obviously on this on these sliders. And these are the sliders I've been on for, I want to say, maybe the past, um, I don't know, like probably 10 episodes. I bumped the, uh, this is what was is different, is that I bumped up the sliders for the CPU. So you can see, uh, you know, where it normally would be 54 on Hall of Fame. I gave them 55 for inside, close, mid-range, three-point, and layup success. Uh, shot timing impact, I bumped it from 0 to 5 because I just thought that it was a little bit weird that it was at 0, like, you know, that their timing has nothing to do with it. So I just bumped it up from 0 to 5. Left coverage impact the exact same. Uh, Alley-oop, like I said, um, I, I bumped, I thought I bumped that up. I think it was at 50, but either way, ball security, I actually bumped that down from 100 to 95 because they had their ball security at, at 100, which is just crazy. It's not even fair. So that means, like, I'm never getting steals, which I never get them anyway, even with 95. But, you know, once in a while, once in a blue moon, we'll get lucky. And then, as you can see, from there on, everything else down here, all going to be the same. Um, so uh, I'm pretty sure, at least. Let me just take a look here. I know I got... I'd never change anything in the fouls or the movement or anything like that. So, yeah, everything else is going to be just your regular Hall of Fame sliders from that point. Uh, but I wanted to show this because, like I said, I know there were a lot of people that were <clears throat> that were asking about the sliders and stuff like that. So this is what we run with. And uh, it's something that I think that it'd be cool, if, you know, for you to try out because it's been working for us. And I think the gameplay is very realistic. It's very difficult at times. But once you start playing a lot, you know, because your play style is going to be a big, big part of it. You know what I mean? And here we go, winning the tip with Wayne, and we're on our way. We're on our way, my boys. Like I said, with the sliders that you just saw, this is the game we are going to be playing. Let's see. Brady, see that green window goes away so fast. But we're good, we're good, we're good. We are good, we're Gucci. I don't know why I just said that. I haven't heard anybody say that in like 35 years. Gotta stay with Lillard, man. He destroyed us. He has destroyed us pretty much every game so far. It, bro, that's what they do, man. That is what they do. They just run off of basic little screens, and they've got good screeners with Filipowski, Giannis, and then they just hit them every single time. They hit the threes off of the screen. Mm, I wanted to get that to Wayne. We're good. Give me a little screen here. Go, Wayne. Go, Wayne. Go, Wayne. Go, Wayne. That's what I'm talking about. A great start there. The chemistry between Hardy and Wayne, bro. It's, it's better than than the chemistry between Collier and Wayne. I'm being honest right now. It feels a lot smoother running this offense with Hardy at the one. Uh, I take that for what it's worth. I don't know what that means just yet. Obviously, I love Collier, but this offense just runs so much nicer. Bro, we can't have Giannis hitting deep threes, bro. Come on. What you want? Baby, I got it. Go. Go, Hardy. Duh. Stop, don't flop on him. Do not flop on him. Lillard, Lillard trying to flop. Going with the jelly layup. Hardy on the board early. Our field goal percentage is trash right now. Because two of our points have come from the line and we've only hit 
two out of like eight or nine field goals. Bro, sometimes Jackson, bro, Trey J, his lateral quickness is not there. Stay with it. That's what I'm talking about, bro, right there, the lateral quickness. What is that move? Bro, don't be, don't be showboating already, Giannis. Not at my house, son, not in Louisville. Because I'm telling you, as soon as you think you're comfortable, we come right back. Oh, I was about to say and do that, but my timing was off, man. Hardy party, come on. Bro, get on him. We're never switching off of Giannis, and we're down by 10, bro. All right, we need to tighten up. Come on, Ace. Come on, Ace. Bro, none of them miss. None of them miss, and we're down by 13. Don't let him. Oh, that's nice ball. Wow, bro. That was great ball movement. That was great ball movement and a crazy give and go. Got, yeah, you've got to respect that. You really got to respect it. Cutting, cutting. Mm. Back to him. Oh, my timing. There we go, Wayne. There we go. Right place, right time. Need a loop? Come on. Here's Bailey. Bring the double. Somebody's open. Somebody's open. One more pass. Cole Pete. Bang. Bro, Cole Pete. Might need to get more playing time. That's a foul. Oh, man, that's a foul. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's calm down. Dug ourselves into a hole here, man. Oh, my God. There's the dish to Bryant. All right, all right, all right. We dug ourselves into a hole, and we got 13 points, man, going into the second quarter. Not a good look. There we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Marcus Smart hitting it. That's what I'm talking about. He just throws it up. And, of course, it's close. Of course it would be close. But 10-point lead for them going into the second quarter, man. All right, we, we just got to calm down. I've never been so nervous for a game, man. This is a this is a playoff elimination game, bro. Oh my god. That screen. Give me that screen. Come on, run with it. Run with it. Oh, what a layup, bro. What a what a layup. What a layup, my boy Koa Pete. Bang. Right in there. That's what I'm talking about. Get back on D. Cut the lead to single digits here. Still not shooting very well, though. But our defense is what we need to do. That's on me. That's okay. All right, we got bailed. We're good. Oh, what a... Oh, my God. What a move, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Cut into this lead. It's a seven-point game now. That was, that was a pretty transition play. Took advantage of getting bailed on defense. Made the most of it. See, you can't get a steal, bro. Stay on him. I hate that down screen. I hate it. Bailed again. Bailed again. Come on. We got to take advantage of these. Let's go. Let's go. Lead from 13 to 3. Let's go, Hardy. Let's go, Hardy. He's not missing. He's not. He's not missing that one, baby. That's a green release. That's a green release and a tie ball game. That man is an assassin from three. Leading the league in three-point percentage this year. Are we looking at the new Curry? I know their games are wildly different, but. Oh, my God. That's a beautiful defensive play. The rim run. The rim run, baby. The rim run. Let's go. Give us that lead. And this, and this half strong. Let's it go from deep. Bro, that's so hard to defend. That is, it, it, I know it doesn't look like it, but it is so hard to defend with Hardy, especially because he's not hes not great defensively. Let's go, Grady. Let's go, Grady. Mm. Boom. Two-point lead. It's going to be a crazy stat to some of you, but I don't think we have led at the half in any game so far. That's good defense. Good help. Got to try to pull away. 
One thing we don't always do a great job at is pulling away when we have the lead. Go. That's Kaminsky. Or no, that's Filipowski. Oh my God, what a dunk! What a dunk, baby! That's the type of slam that I'm talking about. Four point lead. Oh, with style too. That's your boy, Iso Co. I would love to keep the lead going in halftime for the first time in this series. And it's looking like we're going to have it, too. That's off. Oh, my God. Give me a rebound, please. Get with Murray. Good defense. That's good deep. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That was a nice play by Filipowski. Bro, he's a bucket. He really is. Just take it, take it. You got him. Oh my God, it's not even a foul though. Oh man, I wanted that when I thought he was going to throw it down. He did not, but we go into the half with the lead for the first time. I know it's crazy to even think that. For the first time in the series so far. Two point lead going into the half. Keep the momentum. So we know what's going on around the NBA right now, man. San Antonio swept their series. That is crazy. But as you can see, Shooting much better in the second quarter, bro. We turned that thing around. 11-5-4 and four for Grady. 19-7-2 for Giannis. Gotta keep the... Bro, how does he get so wide? Oh! How does he get so wide open like that? Man, that is, that is so maddening. It really is. Where's Hardy? Mm, I was trying to get that to Hardy. I hit the wrong button. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, all right. Calm down. Do not let this get out of hand. Ronnie Holland. Take it. Oh, baby, that's what I'm talking about. And that was right past Giannis, too. Nope. <laughs> ole, ole. Got mismatches all over the... Filipowski, good with Filipowski. Oh man, that was, all right, that was a nice find. That was. I'm surprised he didn't yank the three. Still though, that's their mo. Oh, not mean to do that. Party, party, off the screen, bang. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. We cannot let them run away with this. And they take a timeout. All right, we got to keep that going. We need to be hitting our outside shots, and we cannot let them run away because when they do, they run fast. There we go, tie game. He always hits his free throws, always hits them. It's one thing you got to give to him is that he does not miss from the line. Little flare screen from Lillard. That's good. That was a good recovery. Come on. Good defense. That's great defense. That is great defense. That's great defense. Beautiful D. We need that every possession. We need that kind of intensity, that energy. Time to capitalize on it. Three point lead. Let's go, baby. Here comes your boy, Ace Bailey. See if I can sneak into the paint on this little inbound play. Mm, they clogged it up. Throwing it up. Oh, what a shot. Bro, what a shot from forever away. From forever away, bro. And they just, they just answer. They just answer right away, bro. They answer just like that. As soon as I think we have a little momentum... Isaiah Joe on Holland should be a mismatch. Take that. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God. That boy is a savage over Filipowski and Giannis. He does not care. He doesn't care. He don't care who you are. Let's go. Grady has actually been pretty effective defensively. Good 
Good, good, good. Bailed. Let's go. Ace. Oh, what a... He sold. Giannis sold for the steal. And we just blew past him. That's what I'm talking about. 7-3 and 4 for your boy Ace. Crowd is into it. They are loving this. Five point lead. Oh my God, bro. To be that powerful and that fast is unfair. You know, I've noticed that we have been. Our identity. Oh my God, man. Oh my God. It's just like, I. I it was either going to be Isaiah Joe or Lillard there. I guess I should have taken my chances with Joe. But our identity, I've noticed, man, is that we are a team that shoots the ball very well, and we defend very well, and there's my boy right there. He's one of the reasons why we shoot it so well. But I feel like that's our identity, man. We are a 3 and D team, and we attack the paint. We are so well-rounded as a squad, I, I feel. And we have size, too. Oh, my God, bro. I can't. I don't even have a chance to breathe, literally. Let's take this into the fourth quarter. With the lead, baby. Come on. There we go. Two-point lead. Do not let them do something crazy. Block, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's the momentum we need going into the fourth and final quarter. We are 12 solid minutes away from putting this team away, my boys. Let's get it. Let's do this. One thing I can't do is let my nerves get the best of me here. I can't let that happen. Oh, my God, bro. That is the second time this half that Lillard has just been wide open in the corner for no apparent reason. That is the one guy we can't leave. I mean, can't leave any of them open. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You can't leave that man open either. Don't do it. Nine minutes left, my boys. Keep the composure. Got to keep our composure here. Why is Wayne on? Good closeout. Oh my God, bro. That was a good closeout. Isaiah Livers is just banging those over guys. Like when we're, we're closing out and contesting. It's crazy. I can't get mad. I cannot let myself. I'm, I, find my, I feel myself get angry. Mm. Come on. Do not let the wheels fall off here. Please, no. God. All right, all right, we're good, we're good, we're good. It's only a two-point game. Give me that screen. Oh, no, he's... No! No! Oh my God, he's down, bro. When he went down, this whole series just flashed before my eyes. I, I gotta look. I gotta look and see what it is. Unknown left ankle injury. Oh my God, my boys. Grady's gonna have to step up. Him in Holland. I'm so triggered, right? I am so triggered. Go, Ronnie. Go, 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 Ron. Go, Ron! Do it for Hardy. Come on, man. We need this crowd behind us, and we need our boys to step up. Lillard is tired. I refuse to let him beat us. I refuse. Stay on him. Stay. Oh, come on, man. That's a clean, that's clean defense. Get out of here, bro. Ball don't lie. Ball don't lie. Grady. Oh, my God. What was that? Come on. All right. Got to breathe. I got to breathe. Mismatch. Lillard. Can't handle him. You can't handle him. You can't handle him. That was probably a foul, too. Two-point game. Okay, okay. I'm not going to cuss. <laughs> I'm not going to cuss. Oh, 
Can't scream. Get out of here! Sit down, Giannis! Sit down! Back to a two-point game. Two minutes to play. I'm on his hip. Bro, on that. Time to dance. Let's go. Mm. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go. Sit down, Filipowski. Sit down, son. You're back in Louisville, but you're on the wrong side, my boy. But not your fault. Not your fault. Two-point game. Less than two minutes to play. It feels like game seven for some reason, and we're up 3-1. It's crazy. Bro, I'm all over that. I'm all over it. I, mm, I've never wanted to rage so bad. I'm like triggered that Hardy's out. I tried to get too cute. Wayne, he's got him. Get, get, sit down. Sit down. We go. Back to a two point game. Oh my God. game less than a minute to play give me that give me that go 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 Jaron Jackson go oh my god how are you that slow my I mean I uh, I know fatigue is setting in and everything but he's got to be faster than that right I'm losing my voice it doesn't even matter hell no hell no Go, Ron. Go, Ron. You're on step. Let's go. Let's go. One point lead. 30 seconds to go. We have the lead at home. I do not plan on giving it back. All right. Sorry, my boys. I had to step away and take a deep breath for a second. What was that? They take another timeout? All right. Okay. Maybe they wanted to see what defense we were running. I'm not really sure, but... Interesting. That's what it's all about right here, my boys. Damn. Middleton. Oh. They fell. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, hopefully they had a foul to give, did they? They did. Where's Grady? Where's Grady? Sixteen point five. 16.5 seconds. Oh my God, I need both of these. I need them both, Grady. I need them both, my boy. I need them both. Right, we're good. We're good. Mm, that's one. That's one. Green release, that's what I'm talking about, baby. We never get those, foul him, foul him. Somebody foul, foul right now, foul him. Bro, I'm sending him to the line, I don't care. I don't even care. As long as they're not shooting a three when they inbound this. Don't let him get it to Lillard, do not let him. Foul him. Blocked! That's what I'm talking about, baby! Let's go! Let's go! Oh my god, that might have just iced it! Bro, all we need is one of these! All we need is one! We just need one! Come on. It's not over yet. Oh. Come on. When you're in these situations, the players you want at the free throw line, they have to have a level of fearlessness. Welcome to the party, Mr. 
That's it, baby. That is it. Let's go. We've done it. The gentlemen sweep, my boys. Let's go. Oh, we're going on to the next round. We are going on to the Boston Celtics. And you boys better be ready. You better be ready this time. You better be ready. Because we just brought out the gentleman's broom on the Milwaukee Bucks. Oh, my God. Oh, Giannis and Dame Lillard. How can we lose now? How can we fail at this point? How? How could we even fail at this point? Tatum, Porzingis, Jalen Brown. Uh, like, honestly, that, that should not be harder than Giannis and Dame. It really shouldn't. Giannis, Dame, Jamal Murray, Chris Middleton, M Mitchell Rob. Or, I'm sorry. Who, I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. Oh, my God. 4-1, baby. Let's go. We're going to the next round. They busted out the confetti for this one because it was a hearty party again in game five. 36-2-5 for our boy, even though he went out with the injury, which is something that we're going to be coming down from our high pretty quick because we're going to have to see what that is. Ron Holland, 22-5-1. Grady with 21-8-10. Two blocks, bro. Got to give the game ball to Grady Dick on this one. He kept us in this game with so many big shots. And just, just, I mean, just so many amazing plays. Koa Pete with 15 off the bench. Crazy for the rookie. And then Dame. Holding him to 28 points in this game is a win in my book. He was 4 of 13 from the field. Having Grady shadowing him all game and changing the hedge settings, it worked. My boys, it worked. It worked. And Giannis, much of the same. We were denying the ball and smothering this guy. 27, 13, and 5 with 3 blocks and 3 steals is still a great game. But when you think about Giannis in the playoffs, you know, these are the types of games where you'd say these are kind of average for these two guys. Jamal Murray, 19-1-6. Middleton, double-double for Filipowski, who all series long was basically mediocre. Filipowski was mediocre, my boys. We just took the dub in the series. Oh, my God, my boys. Oh, I, I honestly, I don't even know what to say right now. I don't even know what to say right now. Other than Hardy has a sprained uh, left ankle, and it is day-to-day. -day. Okay, so now, considering the fact that we are going to be waiting for the Cleveland Philly series to conclude, we're going to be waiting for the Houston series to conclude, all of these series have to conclude, I believe, I believe, before we can actually start round two, if I'm not mistaken, which means that Hardy will have plenty of time to heal from a minor sprained ankle. Plenty of time, my boys. He should be back at full health full strength, ready to go in Louisville this time. We are going to be at home. Boston, you got to come to our house. And I got a whole new game plan this time, my boys. A whole new game plan. I'm not going to give you the whole thing, but it revolves around Jaron Jackson being Jason Tatum's shadow for the entire series. I'm going to be honest right now. This is almost like you couldn't have written this any better. We now get a chance as much as I did not want to face Boston. Bro, this is how it had to be. This is how it had to be. This is how fate was written, my boys. This was the one. We got to play Boston again. We just won our first playoff series ever, my boys. If you're not subscribed, like I say, like I always say, now is a perfect time to join us on this because this thing is, I mean, look, we just beat the Bucks 4-1. 4-1. The gentlemen's sweep, okay? Big shout out to this entire community. So much love to all of you. I cannot wait to see you boys back for game one against the Boston Celtics, the rival, the Badgers' very first rival, Boston Celtics. We will be back very, very soon to host those boys, and I'll catch you boys in the next one.